Hi guys, this is Omer from MMOHut.com and I'm their first impressions gameplay video for Team Fortress 2, a 3D cartoony MOFPS game published by Valve. Now I'll spend about 10 to 15 minutes running around checking this game out, make some comments. If you guys want to play Team Fortress 2 or just learn more about it, do check out the full review on MMOHut.com on the link below. So we are playing 2-4 over here and this is not my first time playing Team Fortress 2 because the game used to be a buy-to-play buy -play FPS game on Steam but as of June 23rd, 2011, Valve came out and made the game free to play. So yes guys, Valve is throwing their support behind free to play and make more of their very popular titles team fortress 2 free to play and as a free to play game the game will be completely free to play with optional microtransactions if you want to spend money but you don't have to it's completely free and really fun actually now this is a game i never actually played too much because the game was uh it was a buy to play game and right around when this game came out back in october 9th of 2007 i was still wrapping myself around free to play so this is a game i never played too much though i have played a ton of valve games the original half-life half-life 2 i've played uh, counter strike source quite a bit so two fortress is a capture the flag map over here and i'm gonna skip the little movie over here but you can watch it if you want to it's a very chaotic uh, FPS game. I'm going to go on Team Red. And one thing I really do like about this game, I'm going to play as a scout first. There's division offensive class over here. Really fun. Uh, double jump while in the air. That is awesome. And let's see how I do. It's a, What I really like about the game, though, is the cartoony graphics. It's a it's like Western cartoony, not like anime-inspired graphics. But the graphics are really nice and really easy on the eyes. So let's see. This not, I haven't played this map before 2-4. Though I have played this on the original Team Fortress game over here. Hopefully the game does not like too much of my fraps. So you can see uh, it's a CTF-style map. So I have to go all the way to the other side of the map and steal the flag. And as a scout, stealing the enemy flag is actually my, my strong point. Though it's not really an enemy flag. Oh my gosh, there's lots of people here. Am I on Team Blue? I'm pretty sure I'm not on those guys' team. Am I? What team am I on? No, I am, I am on the red team looks like these guys are all on my team so what am i doing over there i gotta go steal the blue flag guys the blue flag not the red flag let's go up over here and there's a guy camping over there let's go shoot with my awesome gun over here and you start with actually three weapons on each character i just died on this server it seems like you respawn instantly on a normal server you don't respawn instantly so on my weapons i got i got this awesome melee weapon over here each of the playable classes in the game do have their three set of weapons you can unlock new weapons as you keep playing the game we're gonna go we'll go jump over here and kill these a-holes oh just fell down over there could have killed all those guys it would have been really cool but it didn't happen and that is not a good place to go i ran to like four turrets over there it's a really chaotic map right now because i think it's a I'm not sure how many players on this map. The game is meant for 24 players on a single map. But being that this is a Valve game and you can actually host your own dedicated servers, you can pretty much do a lot of custom stuff in the game, including having your own custom maps and all that good stuff. So players, you know, have increased the server capacity up to uh, 32 players on this map, it looks like. And if you're playing an engineer, you can make these awesome sentry guns over there, which fire on their own. Very cool. But one of the strongest points in Team Fortress 2 is its variety. You have a uh, nine playable class, which I'm going to switch class real soon. And it's really hard for me to run up there. It's a really bad place to go. And if you click combat, you can switch weapons. So you have the scout, the soldier, the pyro, the de demo man. I would say de demon man. We got heavy, engineer, medic, sniper, and spy. Now, my two favorite classes are soldier and scout, for sure. Now, I do like playing demo man as well. Heavy guy is basically shooting an awesome machine gun. Look how big that machine gun is. Very epic. Let's go play as a soldier for now. I'm going to play for kills right now. This is like capture the flag map, but uh, it seems like a lot of players aren't even trying to get kills. They're going for mo aren't even trying to capture the flag. They're going mostly for uh, more kills, which is always awesome. So let's see what the scores are. And one thing also worth mentioning is this game doesn't keep track of your deaths, which is kind of odd, but it's always been doing that. So it's not nothing new in uh, Team Fortress over here. But, uh, well, I'm not, I kind of forgot Team Fortress 1 if it did that as well. So I'm kind of running out here on my own, and I'm kind of getting myself killed. Let's go shoot some rockets over there. I think I got an assist somewhere over there. My score is still, like, zero. I'm doing quite awful right now. But, again, this is not a game I've ever played too much. I've only started playing this. I've actually only played this in the past, back when they had free-to-play weekends, where they made the game free for, like, a weekend or two. But now the game is perma-free-to-play. There's, there's a guy over there. I'm going to kill him. And where did that guy go? I gotta get myself healed up over here. I'm like down to no HP. So I'm gonna kill these blue players over there. I gotta start reloading as well. As a soldier, I have more HP than the scout, and I have an awesome rocket launcher. Well, the, I would say the blast radius in the rocket launcher isn't nearly as chaotic as the blast radius in Quake 3, where you'd be blasting everywhere you can. But I just respawn instantly again. I'm not used to the instant respawn, because it's the first time I'm playing on an instant respawn server. There's an invisible guy over there who's on our team. He's got an awesome uh, thingamajig on his head. Not sure what that is, but like I said earlier, the longer you play, the more achievements you unlock. And the more achievements you unlock in the game, the... Oh, I just killed that guy over there. The more, the, the more special stuff you have access to in the game, including cosmetic items, as well as new weapons, all that good stuff. So the game has some persistent elements, and really the only persistent elements are those achievements, because they give you access to new weapons as well. Look at these a-holes, gotcha for us. They're just camping over here trying to get killed. But the point of the game isn't just to get kills, at least in this server. The point is to actually capture the enemy intelligence, which is basically their flag. And you can see it right where my, my cursor is over there, my, my scopes. 
So let's see, this is oh, there's a guy right there, I'm gonna shoot him in the face, and let's go shoot these guys over there, and I just died. I'm gonna try playing another class, I just click that over there. Let's go try playing uh, a Demo Man. In this map, it seems like a Demo Man would be kinda nice, cause they're very good when players are uh, kinda clustered together in one spot. And Sniper's always good as well. Gotcha Force over there is 47, I gotta get 54 kills to be number one. Which is not gonna happen, considering I joined this game already in progress. So kill these guys over there, and I am just missing like a boss. And as a Demo Man, you get a grenade launcher. Let's go shoot these guys over here. The best way you can do to play a demo man is kind of find a corner and keep throwing your nades over there and you'll get a lot of kills that way, which I'm going to try doing. Let's go follow this pyro over here. There's a guy right there. We can, you know, I'm not going to blow him up. I'm going to go shoot some nades over there. That's why like, they all camp over there for some reason. Whoa, there's a guy right there and I did not get any kills. Wow, I'm doing quite awful this game, guys. But uh, Team Fortress 2 is, is, is uh, one of Valve's games and I would have to say Valve is one of the highest quality uh, PC game developers out there. I mean, in terms of MMO terms, I would compare them to Nexon. I mean, Nexon makes a lot of the higher end free to play games. Valve makes a lot of really high quality games as well. I mean, they made Counter-Strike. Counter-Strike is like the FPS game out there. Oh my god, that guy's running at me with an awesome melee weapon. And he is dead, so we're gonna try a new class after I die over here. I have another weapon as well, my secondary weapon on this guy is more like shoot proximity mines, which are kind of useful. But so far I've been missed. I got a kill over there, look at the top right, I did get a kill. I killed some Korean guy or some Chinese guy. Can't tell what characters those are. Those would be Korean, Chinese, Japanese, any of that good stuff. So shoot these guys over there, and I'm gonna camp over here as well. Awesome place to camp. And this is a very chaotic map as well. We gotta all sneak in here, and there's a guy right there. Nobody's playing a medic, it seems. There's a medic over there, but he's not healing me. Medics can heal their teammates, and they are remarkably helpful. Especially if you're playing a non, uh, if you're playing a, uh, I don't know, there's so many players in this map to be really, uh, skill-based, I would say. Though you can always get a lot of kills, which is always skillful as well, and fun. So let's go shoot some more nades over there, and I just died. I'm gonna try playing a new class as well. And the good thing is, if you ever get bored of playing one class, you can still play another class. I wanna be a support class? Nah, bruh. I am gonna play as, a. Uh, Soldiers are my favorite class, though. I'm gonna try uh, playing as an offense scout again. In smaller maps, uh, well, in, in, I feel like there's a lot of choke points in the map, making enemy uh, flag captures very difficult. Our intelligence is all the way down over here. The enemy has to capture our intelligence, which is actually a briefcase, not a flag, and they have to bring it down to their base to score a point. And it's first team to three wins. And it looks like neither team has gotten any points, which is quite awful, actually. And as a scout, you can double jump. It's, double jumping is always awesome. Whoever invented double jumping is an awesome person. But I'm not sure if double jumping even makes sense. I just oh my god, it's a turret over there. I'm going to die from it. And there's a guy right there shooting me. So yeah, it's not going quite well. It's very difficult to get the enemy flag. At, well, their intelligence. I keep messing it up. It is intelligence. It's a suitcase, apparently. But it seems like even if you get kills, these guys are not going to be able to kill. I'm gonna, oh, I got to run away from that guy. And I can try uh, meleeing him. Because if you do use a melee weapon, you can kill the big guys really fast. You can kill anybody really fast with melee. Oh yeah, gonna melee you in the face, bro. Gonna melee, and he didn't die. I critted him as well. That was that was totally lame. I should have gotten that kill. But the thing about this game too is you don't really have to worry too much about your deaths because again, the game does not keep track of your deaths. It only keeps track of your kills and your points. And you do get points if you assist your teammates, or simply enough, uh, you capture the flag gives you points as well. So I'm gonna try going for the. Whoa, we're not gonna go that way. And there's a turret over there. And engineers in the game can lay down turrets, and they are remarkably good for defense. You can't have to rely on your teammates to take down the turrets if you're playing a scout, because it's very difficult to, difficult to capture the enemy flag or their intelligence okay. again if they have turrets around. They took our intelligence though somehow, which is kind of lame. I'm going to try running in over here again. So far, I'm not even sure where the enemy's intelligence is, because I haven't played this map before. We're going to run... Oh my god, the turret over there. We don't want to go that way. There's a guy right there. We can try killing him, and it's not going to work. He's a pyro. I don't want to go near him. He's going to own me. With his uh, flamethrower, we're going to keep running away. Nope, you can't hit me, bro. I'm running back. Backwards, can't get me. And I'm gonna try shotgunning him. I'm almost out of ammo. And hopefully I can kill that guy. Where is he going? I'm gonna I'm gonna go bat this guy up. Oh, there's a guy right there. Can we bat him? Nope. I just died. So I'm gonna try playing uh let's see. I'm gonna go with uh I'll go with soldier this time again. So far, I'm not very good at this map, but I would say that this, this is definitely a really fun MMO FPS game. And whether you want to call Team Fortress 2 an MMO or not is definitely up for debate. But the way I look at it is, it's an online game, it's free to play, and I'm going to go ahead and do it for MMO anyway. Because MMO is a very broad term, at least on MMO. We consider a lot of games MMOs, even though they're not really a persistent world. But this is a lot of players online, it's multiplayer, it's online. So for the sake of our very broad definition, we're going to call Team Fortress 2 an MMO, even though... Technically, it's not persistent world, but it doesn't really matter. So we kill that guy over there. It's a really fun game as well. It's been out for quite a while now. Or originally released back in 2007. So uh, it's a game that's been around for a while, and Velva's done a really good job keeping it up to date. And I didn't get any kills there. Wow, I am really sucking up this game. I'm 3-12. and 12. This is awful. Definitely my worst runs earlier. I mean, I haven't played this game too much. Before recording this, I did play a tad bit because I was playing with a friend. And I did a lot better that time. I captured the, I captured the intelligence like four times. Oh, it's actually three to win. So I captured three times. So I'm, I'm not sure why I'm doing so poorly this time. So kill that guy. And nope, I'm going to shoot that guy over there. So far, I just kind of rocketed myself. 
My intelligence has returned. I'm gonna try playing some. Let's go try playing a heavy this time. I haven't tried. I haven't played this class on this account yet. I have played Team Fortress again on a different Steam account. The one I'm using right now is the one I've been using for a while. Well, I've I never played actually Team Fortress 2 on this account up until now, really. But uh, I have played it on on different Steam accounts. So let's see. We're gonna go run up over here and gonna walk really, really slowly. As a as a heavy, your job is to kind of just run in there, tank, and do as much damage as possible. It seems like, even though it's kept to the flag style game, it seems like only the scout can really take the flight and get away with it because every other class in the game is really, really slow compared to the scout. The scout is really, so kill that guy, is really fast to move and definitely the only class that can really capture the flag and escape with it. And if you want, if you want to be the one trying to capture the enemy flags, you do want to play as a scout. I am going to go run over here. Nope, got to start firing away before I even cut the corner. There's a guy right there going to kill that guy and I just died. I got, wow, I got killed really fast. So we'll try one more round as this guy. If I want, I can use melee as well. And as a heavy, I have a shotgun, my melee, let's not go that way, where am I going? Is there, uh, battlements are that way, so yes, I am going the wrong way, I know. Let's go punch this guy, no, I probably shouldn't be, what am I doing trying to punch people as, a, as this character? This is not a melee character, I gotta use this gun. There's a, there's an enemy sniper over there, and I'm trying to shoot him from distance with a machine gun. Not the best idea, considering they can actually one-shot me if they fully charge their sniper shot and aim at my head. There's a guy right there, I'm gonna kill this guy. And there you go, finally got a kill over there, took a long, let's go kill this guy as well, he's gonna go down, I just got him as well. It was actually an assist. The game does keep track of your assist. Not a lot of FPS games do that where they do actually keep track of assist. Oh man, I'm almost out of ammo. So kill this guy and he's gonna go down. I got a decent amount of kills that round. My score is 6 and 15, still quite in the negative territory. But I plan to get myself back to positive uh, if I play this game a bit longer. This this map though, I'm really sucking at this map so far. But again guys, the game is not over. I can still I can still reach positive if I get lucky. And these guys are gonna... Oh yeah, if the doctors follow you around, you're really powerful. Because the doctors kill you very, very fast this game. So this guy's kind of low HP over there. I'm going to try running this way. Going to kill that guy. Where is he going, bro? Where are you going? And I just died one hit. Through. Let's go change classes. I'm going to try playing back as a... I'm going back to Demo Man this time. The game has a good variety of classes again. And it's a game that's... I, I would say it's very difficult to get bored of. I mean, I've played a lot of FPS games, but I do switch very often. This game, though, I could sit down and play for a while. Even before playing this, I was just playing for like uh, 30 minutes or so. Play with, oh, this guy right there. He's going to kill me, and he just owned me over there. Wasn't paying too much attention over there. But this is a game you can keep playing on and off without getting too bored. Let's go this way. Yes, this way. Look at all the snipers on our team. They're all camping over here. I'm going to try Sniper next. Because Sniper seems to be able to get a lot of kills. They just camp in the back. Not really helping the team score points. But Sniper is still important because they can protect you on your way out of the enemy base. And I am not getting any kills so far because I am quite bad at this game so far, I'm going to say. Let's go shoot some uh, Let's go shoot some stuff over there. Can I get any kills? Yeah, look at those two kills I just got over there. I'm getting shot by this a-hole. And I'm going to pull up my... Nope, not this. Let's go pull up my melee weapon. That's not a good idea. Let's go reload this weapon over here. And hopefully I can pull up a heal. And there's nobody near me to heal me. Go up oh, this guy right there. And he just ran past me. So let's not even worry about him. There's another guy right there. And I just killed another guy. I got Crimson D over there. Guys, my score is 10 and 18. So I'm crawling my way up from the horribly negative territory to, to the somewhat horrible negative territory. So I am crawling my way up. That's a cool uh, spray over there. And if you ever played Counter-Strike, the interface and the menus are very similar to Counter-Strike Source. Because the game does run off the Source engine. And as I mentioned earlier, I really do like the game's cartoony graphics. I've always liked anime-inspired graphics. Also, cartoony graphics. They don't have to be anime-inspired. I mean, Western cartoony is just as good. Especially when they look like this. I'm really... Oh, let's go kill that guy. And Team Fortress 1, I don't... I remember it not being cartoony. So they went in a different direction with this game. Let's go shoot that guy over there. Which I've missed with every single one of these bullets. As a grenade launcher, your weapons don't explode right away unless you hit them. If your actual grenades land on top of them, they will explode right away. And do a ton of damage. So I am 11 and 20. My 0.5 KDR is not too impressive. We can't go that way. We gotta go the exit way over here. And the, the time limit on this map is 170 minutes. Normally the time limit is never that high. It's a lot shorter usually. So it comes down to whoever gets the most points in that time limit. If you don't reach your three captures. So it looks like it'll take us a long time to capture these three flags. Uh, well, three intelligences. So kill that guy over there. And he's not gonna go down. So we're gonna go this way now. Hopefully I can get a few more kills. Oh, did I get a kill there? I got an assist. I'll take the assist, guys. I'll take the assist. I can just stand here and keep shooting over there. It's definitely been helpful. And let's go shoot. That guy didn't even see me. Let's go. I don't have a, a shotgun with this character, so I can't, you know, just turn around and start using my shotgun. Let's go shoot some more stuff over here. And it seems randomly you'll shoot a more powerful bullet. And the more powerful one almost always one shots. It's very powerful. It starts glowing. You'll notice it right away. So, Remote, is that you? Supers wants to know if it's me. And one thing also worth mentioning is uh, since since Team Fortress 2 went free to play, its player base has skyrocketed. I mean, if you look at the Steam uh, Steam list of the most popular games, how many players are online, all that good stuff, you'll see how popular Team Fortress 2 is. And as I'm doing this video, about 60,000 players are online. And that's that's like the top game on Steam right now. And that's because the game did go free to play. And I'm doing this video on, on June 24th, simply a day after the game went free to play. So it's really popular right now. I'm sure some of the hype will die down, but... 
the game will definitely remain more popular as a free-to-play game. And it actually makes sense for Valve to make uh, Team Fortress 2 free-to-play because the game has already been out since like 2007. Not many more people are going to keep buying Team Fortress 2. So in terms of, uh, <laughs> everyone's asking me to talk over there. I'm going to say, sup guys. The game does have an in-game voice chat system. If you click on your, your in-game voice button, you can start talking to other players, which makes coordination uh, definitely important. But if you're playing online in a random game, I mean, nobody's really coordinating. Everyone's playing a very chaotic game. But if you want to play a very organized game with Team Fortress 2, it can be a lot of fun as well. There's definitely a competitive scene out there if you want to play, like, really intense matches. Oh, there's another sniper over there. Everyone's saying, is it? Everyone's trying to, everyone's recognizing my name on here. It's pretty cool because a lot of the guys on here would normally wouldn't recognize my name because, I mean, Remote Tay is not a very well-known person slash name amongst the regular retail games, but amongst free-to-play games, it is. And a lot of people playing Team Fortress now are free-to-play users who never bought the game before. And now, for those looking to compare the game, I mean, since it went free-to-play, pretty much you can, you can play the game for free, but there's some custom stuff in the game. For those that bought the game, you, you have premium status, which I'm not sure what it does exactly, but you do have a hat in the game saying that you bought the game. I'm not sure what the stats in that hat is, but... Uh, again, I don't really know, but there are microtransactions as well where you can buy different weapons. But you can always unlock different weapons on your own without paying for them, simply by getting new achievements and all that good stuff. So, you get achievements by simply playing the game, like get so many kills in a row, do so much damage. That's really how you unlock achievements. So, basically, you don't, you don't have to go out of your way to unlock achievements. Just play the game, have fun, you'll get achievements. So far, uh, so I'm not killing anyone so far. I'm going to try switching again. I'm going to play as a... Uh, this game has been a total disaster for me, but I'm going to blame you guys. Because I'm talking while playing, so that always throws me off. But uh, I, again, I'm doing, I am I got 16 points. It's not awful. Six. I'm 12 and 25 as my kills. I, I'm gonna try sniper next round after I die one more time over here. And I'm gonna call it after this too. I do plan on making more videos for Team Fortress 2 as I play the game and get better because right now I do suck. I wanna make some more intense videos later on as I as I get better in the game. And it's a game I'll probably be playing on and off with my friends too because I know a lot of people that do play Team Fortress 2 and it's a game I have been able to play with them because I never actually wanted to buy it. Though the game was never that expensive, they do they did have sales back when it was like five dollars to buy the game. Probably should have done it, bought it back then, but I never did. And there's a turret over there, so I, I can try killing the turret, but it's really hard to kill. So I don't want to die, but I'm gonna keep shooting it slowly, and I'll take it down eventually. Up oh, this guy right there, and I got an awesome shot right on top of him, and he's doing a lot of damage to me. So we gotta dodge him. Wait till my four rocketry load. Oh, I just rocketed myself in the face. How awesome is that? Nope, somebody else got the kill off me though. But I did do a lot of damage to myself, which is kind of lame. But the game is very chaotic. I would there's a teleport over there. Engineers can build teleporters, which can teleport you to other parts of the map where engineers put their last teleporter. Let's go switch over to sniper. We're gonna try getting a few kills as a sniper. So hopefully I don't I wanna get a few kills as a sniper, and I feel like I should be able to be doing decent, but we'll see. And it, the game even marks where the intelligence is, so you know where to go if you want if you're sneaking to the enemy base. So we're gonna go look outside over here, the battlements, and let's see how I do. Let's see, where are the enemies? Probably like, I'm gonna be sniping other snipers mostly, it looks like. And the longer you zoom in, the more charged up your sniper gets. Mine's at 100% right now. If I unscope, it's gonna go back down to zero. But I'm gonna be a ballsy sniper. You know what, guys? I got balls. Let's go run out over here and kill some people. I'm gonna be a ballsy sniper. Balls to the walls. Hopefully, I if I get one kill like in their base, that would be awesome. I'm gonna camp right over here. Thing is, the enemy can see my red dot. So if I put it right there, they're not gonna run, you know, run right in front of it. Come on, somebody run in front of me. Come on. I should be able to get a one shot if I get a headshot with it. I'm going to keep walking like this. This is a horrible idea, guys. This is an awful idea. When I die, I'm going to call it for now. And I'm going to keep moving forward, scoped in like a boss. So let's see. Why well, can't see anybody this time? Normally, when I, when I run over here, there's like four guys in front of me. When I'm playing a sniper, I'm trying to camp. Nobody runs in front of me. We're going to go kill that guy. Yes, I know scoped him, but I didn't get a kill. I did get an assist, though, guys. Look at that. I'm going to count that as a win right there. That assist. Let's go shoot this way. And then, Oh, I just died. So, guys, I'm going to call it for now. If you guys do want to play out Team Fortress 2 or just learn more about it, do check out the full review on mmhot.com on the link below. Anyway, guys, later.